What's up everyone, Alex here with The Whiskey Shelf. So I wanted to put together this video, it also happens to be my first video, uh, to unbox a shipment of whiskey for you uh, that I received from a store in Japan. Now one thing to note, I do live in Japan and stores in Japan are very happy to ship you know, whiskey to people with Japanese addresses, but that also means that they're not, they're really not willing to ship internationally so that definitely makes it a challenge so if you're wondering no you can't just order online and they'll ship it to you in the united states if you have a japanese address super easy you know costs five or six dollars uh really not a big deal but you know let's get this unboxing started and see what we find i do know what's in here because i did buy it um but i'll keep it a surprise for you for now so really the interesting thing about you know these you know, in a lot of ways, it's like an American shipment. You know, we have the label for you know, fragile. Here we have gudasu, meaning glass. Here on the bottom, we have bin, which means bottle. That's something I just learned doing some research. And then setochin, meaning ceramic or, you know, kind of like, kind of like a glassware ceramic type thing. Uh, again, something I found out from doing research. So I'm learning as we go, but Let's get to this unboxing and see what we have. I am very excited, because uh, I will tell you, this does not cost that much money, so I'm very pleased. Got my uh, scissors, here we go. I'm also doing things on top of a chair, because uh, I just don't want to, I don't really have a great tabletop area yet, and I don't want to be too high off the ground, and I don't want anything to break. So, here we go, if I can get this to work, all right? No. Oh, this is nicely packed. I'm going to look at this later. This is probably the invoice, uh, just as like a record keeping thing. Packaging is always a good thing. All right, where do I go first? I don't know what bottle this is or which one specifically. Oh, nice. Okay. You know, to make my life easier, I'm going to take this out too. Put that on the floor. All right, first up. Oh, nice. All right. So first off, we have wild turkey rare breed, but this isn't just the normal wild turkey rare breed you get you know, in America or even in Japan. This is the, I'll put this, actually put the box down, but it's a nice touch. This is a wild turkey rare breed non-chill filter. That's an export only release. Um, so really, you know, same 58.4% ABV you get in the US, but again, it's non-chill filtered. It turns out, now, Russell Reserve Single Barrel, I think, is non is non chill filtered. Rare Breed is actually chill filtered, which I think is a big sticking point for a lot of people. So, you know, Wild Turkey addressed it, but in a way where Americans can't get it because you have to leave the country. In my case, I got lucky. This was forty six dollars, like something outrageously cheap. So, you know, I'm very pleased. Um, you know, kind of get a little close up there of the label, the ABV on the top or the proof uh and no definitely very interested oh i should mention this comes in a one liter which is the same size as the wild turkey 13 year father and son so you know, got those like that extra 250 milliliters is always a nice touch and really a really great price i mean color wise that's again the lighting may not be ideal it's really dark uh so i'm definitely very curious to try this out thanks wild turkey bring this to america Put that there. Let me just put this on the bottom so I have space. Wild turkey. Okay, second. Let's get to the next on the packaging. I do like the fact that they put these bubble wrap things to protect it from the top. So all around great job packaging it. Yes. And we have another box. Wild turkey 13 year distillers reserve. So this is a Japan only release also. Actually, the wild turkey rare breed is a international exports are just not America. This is actually Japan only. Uh, Wild Turkey 13 year, 45.5% making it, what is it? I'm really bad at math, 90, 91 proof. It actually says in the box, so I should try a little harder. Let's unbox the unbox, unboxing. Oh, careful, I'm already destroying this thing. Nice, so this one is 700 milliliters. Uh, which I think is normal for most international releases. I think the U.S. is the only place that really does 750 milliliters, but here's a bottle here. 
you know, Wild Turkey 13 uh, from you know, our friends out in Wild Turkey. Um, the really interesting thing here is that you know, for a while, I think up until like 2014, I think I'm wrong about the date, I apologize, don't quote me on that, is that there was actually a Wild Turkey 12 101, and for whatever reason, they discontinued that and replaced it with this. So you get one more year, and instead of 101 proof, you get 45 point, or 101 proof, you get 91 proof. I think I might prefer the higher proof instead of the higher age. Uh, no, let me know what you think. Um, you know, I'm sure people will really go either way, but if this is something I've been really excited to try, this was, I'm actually gonna pull out this slip because I'm actually not sure. This was probably $55. Let's see, how many yen was this? Wairotaki Jusanen. Okay, this was 5,980 yen. I got shipping for free because I bought enough stuff. Uh, so that will come out to about $55. You know, in America, you're never gonna find this for $55, but in Japan, you can find it all day, every day, everywhere, you know, for like $55, $65. So another Wild Turkey uh, release. The last one is not Wild Turkey, but before I get to that, you know, part of the reason why I've bought, been buying so much Wild Turkey lately, uh, I think this is my fourth one. You know, I have a Wild Turkey 8 200 milliliter here. Um, they just have seem to have like the most interesting international releases. Um, you know, the rare breed non shell filtered is pretty new. The 13 year, um, the Wild Turkey 8 101, uh, Wild Turkey Father and Son. And you know, compared to some of the other brands, you know, Blanton's is, I guess, for lack of a better word, Blanton's. And you know, I have a red, I have a straight from the barrel. But Wild Turkey has just like this really great list of like decently affordable, you know, under eighty to one hundred dollars. That's I'm kind of have like a dysmorphia. Hundred dollars is a lot, but you know, for me, it's not that big of a deal. Um, but there's just so much interesting stuff uh, in Japan, and I wanted to really explore it. And I happen to buy it now just because I found such a good price. Um, you know, but this is not something I really would have to rush out to get. You know, this is here all day, every day. But definitely looking forward to trying this and comparing it with the father and son 13 year. Pull it out again, which is you know the limited edition release that Jimmy and Eddie Russell did together. Uh, this one's 43% ABV, which is kind of a bummer to be honest. Uh, and this one is 45.5. So we'll put that here. Last but not least, um, ironically, I was talking about blends. I ordered, oh, this one's in a nice sleeve. Okay, well, you know what? Thanks for packaging it really nicely because it all got here. And if I have to work a little bit to get it to work, you know what? That's fine. Last but not least, okay, still working on it. Oh boy, where'd we go? Yes, I'm putting it on the floor. My invoice. Ancient Age 8 year. Actually, they call it here Ancient Age 3A because there's you know, 1A, uh, which I think is 40%, 2A is 43%, no age statement, and this is 3A, which is 43%, and eight year age stated. So give you a nice little look there. And you know, this is another one of those releases that the US doesn't get. I think for a while there was ancient age 10 year, but that's been long gone, and you know, you kind of have to scour the ends of the earth, the back alleys and the back stores and shelves to find it. This is super duper readily available in Japan, again, because Japan gets a lot of really cool stuff. Um, you know, not necessarily all the craft, you know, the New Riff, Woodenville, um, the Wilderness Trail, all that stuff, we don't get here in Japan, um, but we do get some other things as a result, as well as an unholy amount of scotch. I mean, wow. Uh, I need, you know, a seven figure income to afford a lot of it, but you know, I'll leave that for another time. Yeah, so this is ancient age, ancient, ancient age, sorry. And you know, the, really the quick story again is very similar to Blanton's. Buffalo Trace distills it and ages it, but they actually don't own this Nashville, Nashville 2, uh, which they use in Blanton's, the one you get in the US, Blanton's gold, straight from the barrel, black, green, and red, which is like 10 to 15%, uh, give or take. They've never actually released the number, but it's in that ballpark. But no, this is the same mash that goes into Blanton's, uh, but 
instead of the 46.5 or even the 40 actually for that fact, uh, which is Blanton's Black, which is 40% ABV. You know, this is 43% and this is eight years old. And the other main difference is actually, this is not a single barrel, this is batched. Um, you know, I'm sure there are barrels that didn't meet the mark of going into Blanton's and they blended together, um, but still kept that eight year age statement. Again, another something I'm very excited to try. I don't know if my expectations are really high. You know, Blanton's is great, at least all the, you know, the stuff under 100 proof. I actually haven't had gold or straight from the barrel yet. I will get to that. But, you know, I think it'll be something good. You know, this was, I'm actually just going to pull up my receipt again. Uh, oh boy, 2,250 yen. This was like $20, $21. So, I mean, this really is a budget everyday sipper. I hope it doesn't suck, but we'll see. So I'll put that here. And so those are the three bottles that I got in that shipment. But, you know, since I have you here, I wanted to quickly talk about the interesting retail environment uh, that I'm finding in Japan, at least specifically online. So, you know, in the U.S., we have a very, for lack of a better word, archaic, outdated you know, system that's often state run, not, you know, federally run. Um, and as a result, every state has different rules. You know, some states, some counties even are government controlled, you know, some are total free-for-alls, you know, DC is like a free-for-all, you know, Montgomery County, Maryland is uh, county run, Virginia's state run, Northern, North Carolina is state run, but in Japan, it doesn't really seem like that's the case, you know, even at least in Tokyo around here, you know, there's, you know, corporations that own multiple stores across Japan, you know, Shinonoya is one I've been to a lot, and they actually have, they're a corporation with multiple stores. Liquor Mountain is a great name for a store. That's actually, you know, that's another store here. But the point I'm getting at is that it's really, I want to say modernized. It's just very un-American. But I think most of the world, you know, outside of the Middle East where alcohol is often illegal, more or less what the rest of the world is doing. You know, I got this shipped to me for free actually because I spent enough money. But, you know, Amazon will ship. Amazon Japan will ship within Japan. Um... And if you have Prime membership, it's free, although, you know, the companies may mark up the bottles themselves, you know, because Amazon will take a percentage. But it's super easy. You know, I, in this case, I ordered it. I set a date that I wanted today being Thursday um, between 8 and 12 a, or 8 a.m. and 12 p.m. They delivered it at 11, and it was fantastic, super easy, super convenient. And it's kind of a bummer that they don't do that in the U.S. because it would be you know, fantastic for really any store to be able to ship, not having to worry about you know, interstate trade, laws and all that. It's, a, it's kind of a disaster. You know, I don't expect that it will change soon. I know there are some trends happening with, you know, I think Kentucky allows for out-of-state shipping. Again, I might be wrong on that. Please don't quote me on that. But you know, I think things are slowly starting to change because of the pandemic and you know, trying to keep people at home. So sending the alcohol is one way to you know, make it a little bit easier. But you know, in Japan, I think they've been doing it for a long time. And it's really convenient. It's really great. You know, I'm reaping the benefits of that. I actually will mention I ordered this Wild Turkey 8 200 milliliter bottle for was like $9 on Amazon. They included free shipping because this was an Amazon. Actually, Amazon sold this, not another retailer. Um, and they sent that to me through Prime, which was fantastic. Oh, by the way, Prime is cheaper in Japan. It is $50 a year, I think. And actually, I'm, a, I'm still in my one-month trial, but no, Amazon Prime is far cheaper in Japan. I think in America, once you get past all the trials and stuff, it's $120 a month. And I was really shocked how much cheaper it was or it is in Japan. So I went ahead, I got that too, so I could you know, do uh, scheduled shipping as well as free Prime shipping often, you know, one day or two day. But just wanted to share that unboxing with you. That's There's nothing left. It's just packaging materials. They did a great job shipping it. I got it. And I am definitely looking forward to you know, trying all of these, reviewing them, and sharing them with you. But until then, definitely thank you for your time for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, and I think this is my first video, so you haven't, you know, click subscribe below, hit the bell, because YouTube makes you take another step to be notified. And I'm going to include a link in my Patreon, uh, you know, just to support if, you know, if you like what you're like what I'm doing, 
Um, yeah, definitely, well, hap we'd be appreciative if you could uh, support me in that effort. But you know, until then, thanks for your time. See ya.